check mic. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the Daily Grind. Kusan, we talk about stock market. We talk about um, yeah, making money in general, trading, whatever you want to trade. Uh, maybe crypto or maybe stock market or near the forex. If there is opportunity there, we talk about it. We talk about the NFTs the, uh, the past few weeks, and we well, we even touch it uh, in some of the days. But right now, um, little update plan. Uh, SLP Smooth Love Potion and you at yung tokens na kukuha ninyo to play Axie dropped below 4 pesos earlier it has uh, it's the lowest that has been let me share my screen SLP SLT and so it's the lowest it has been for quite quite some time now right um, it's at its major support already right um, tignan niyo po 399 kanina mas mababa pa to kanina uh, looking at the chart mas mababa pa yung kanina 397 yung pinakamababa nakita ko kanina yeah SLP is dropping and yeah let's talk about it kung aakit ba ito sa mga pumasok na sa SLP dyan I know I have a lot of friends who are into SLP I mean or is into Axie already and uh, let's talk about it and uh, for you guys na nagbabalak pumasok kay as uh, kay Axie uh, what are the things that you need to consider because somehow somehow we were able to predict this move of SLP nangyayari na nga and it's not doing well it's not looking well for SLP as at, at, at this point let me just impress this and baka ng point still at 10.8% and so below 4 pesos pa rin so alright we'll talk more about it in a bit uh, update on muna tayo sa stock market PSEI green day for us I mean uh, um, a green bar pero negative 0 0.03 for today uh, negative 2.3 points that's not a lot but net foreign selling po tayo 164 million pesos that's a lot of money coming out and that's to be understood we talked about this we are reaching resistance levels already for the Philippine Stock Exchange Index and we're expecting for this selling right here so baka Right, we're gonna be expecting for the markets to go sideways and baka bumaba na naman in the future which is our expectation bakit ghost month not only for the ghost month um, election time set it's very noisy in the country right now um, tira dito tira doon we're on to government as a government retaliating on the Red Cross it's a bit noisier now and the truth is the suffering it is us who is suffering and it's the economy that's not suffering Whenever there is uncertainty, kasi, investors tend to turn up and don't put money in And if ever a investor about this with the country uh, in Chambos right now, I wouldn't be investing in the country either. So that's what's happening right now. Uh, so markets should be going sideways because of that. There is not enough news, good news, for the markets. So we're hitting resistances. Ingat lang muna sa Alright, so welcome again to the Daily Grind. Please share this video if you're new here. Welcome to the Daily Grind. I think the best the program for us from newbies, Jan. Uh, when it comes to uh, trading, investing, plus we want to we talk about it. We guide you here in stocks and the daily grind. So if you ever need to put it on and share, please share this video to your friends, your relatives, na gusto mo sumulat sa stock market, or maybe, alright, maybe uh, you have a trading group right there. Uh, na, na kasali kayo. Please share it there. So para mga newbies dyan, they'll know about this program right here that can help them in the journey. Alright, let's go to the comments really quick. Kamusta ang weekends ninyo? Uh, chat, kamusta? Kamusta? At ayaw mag-play the music. Should be playing. Alright, so, Rowena, Bilia, good evening. Raymond Marquez, good evening, sir. Good evening. Alright, the music is too loud. Sorry about that. <laughs> Napalakas. Sorry about that. Yeah, good evening. And G Boy Tats, good evening. Uh, Lenore Fomo, good evening, sir. Good evening, din po. Um, we have viewers in YouTube also. Maganagabi sa inyo jan sa mga no non sa YouTube. DYCE29, sir. Medyo malakas yung background sound. Sorry about that. Good evening. 
Ay, malakas music, sir. Natatabunan po. Right, sorry. Um, natatabunan ba kanina? Ay, sorry about that, man. Um, sir, like, good evening. If you don't mind, baka pwede naman malaman yung mga PSA stocks na hawak mo, kahit three stocks lang. Ha. <laughs> Thank you. Um, dito, majority of my funds right now is in Dito. Uh, I am an uh, investor of, an investor of in uh, JFC pa rin. Sell JFC at the top. Nagbili ako ng konti doon sa bottom. Uh, I'm gonna, I should be buying more if the market is doing well already. I uh, already bought some w- uh, when the market bottomed out. BDO and my banking. So, I would say those are the top three stocks na paborito ko ngayon. Uh, also into SMPH. SMPH is one of my favorite stocks. So I'm also an investor in SMPH. So, yun yung apat. Right? So, top stocks na gusto ko. Right? That's for Ian Cesar Villaruel. Thank you so much for letting me know na malakas pala yung background music natin. Sorry about that. It's, it's now okay. I think okay na ngayon. Eh, right? Good evening, Lawrence Alfante. Uh, Ronnie Murillo. Good evening, Sir Lloyd. Alexis Lopez. Magandang gabi rin. Alright, so SLP tayo. Let's go back to SLP. SLP, USDT. As a lot of friends of mine are into SLP right now. Um, so far, we're still looking at a downtrend, right? Um, nakas pa rin ng downtrend. There were points na we thought that it was gonna go reverse already. Uh, but, ito yung pinaka-problema kasi kay SLP, eh, di ba? Uh, we talked about this before. Um, when it comes to SLP, the technical analysis is there. Right, we can say na baka pwedeng umakyat for the current na supply. The problem with uh, Axi is that every day sobrang dami, right? Sobrang dami ng mga uh, what they call this. Sobrang dami ng SLP na nakikreate ang game. So, millions, we're talking millions, right? Millions of SLP is being generated daily and that is a million today, a million tomorrow. Kahit 1 million lang, another million uh, uh, the next day, that's 3 million already, 7 million uh, uh, SLPs in a day has been created. The problem is that itself. Sobrang dami SLP na generate, generate every day that it's flooding the market. Okay, so unless that there are gonna be changes uh, sa Axie na laro on burning and if they can trim down, right, that if they can trim down the number of SLPs being generated every day, that might help. Actually, nag-trim na sila sa adventure. Um, kalahati na lang ng usual na nakukuha mong SLP through adventure uh, ang makukuha mong SLP. But, still, sobrang dami. Ang problema rin naman dyan, it's a double-edged sword. If ever, uh, they're gonna be cutting SLP supply into half, um, that means yung mga tao it might not be worth their time to play SLP, getting lesser SLPs a day, right? Uh, you have to consider that uh, rin kasi. The number of SLPs that you get in a day and the current price of SLPs, right? It's a it's a thin balance that you need to uh, that you need to consider. So if ever makukuha na ako na SLP na mga uh, na makukuha in a day, that means mas lilit ang kita ko. Now the question is, is it worth my time playing and my earning? Pero yung earnings is still fair enough. It's just not compared to before. Yun nga lang, baka mas malaki pa ang kikitain mo kung magtatrabaho ka lang sa call center or ganun. Because I have a friend right now, scholar siya, 3 weeks, around 6,000 pesos na kukuha niya ngayon sa sobrang baba ng SLP prices. And it will still go down, most probably. So... Um, pag scholar ka kasi, uh, usually maghahati pa kayo sa kita niyan sa nagpa-scholar sa'yo. Scholar meaning, ito yung uh, gagastos to invest on the, uh, on the axis. And then, ikaw, ikaw yung magpa-pilot. Ikaw yung maglalaro ng mga ng axis team na yun. Right? So, my, a friend of mine is uh, earning around 6k in 3 weeks. So, that's 2k a week. Medyo bababa na. Right? It's, the question now is, is it worth Play, uh, is it worth your time? Are you going to be earning enough? Right, so that's going to be the problem right there for SLP. And I think th- it's still on a downtrend. I think it will still drop because of the current situation of Axie. And this is what we've been talking about, diba? We've been talking about that for quite a while already. That's why I warned you about Axie. Um, there's money to be made in it, but with the current system of SLP generation, that's prop. Uh, uh, the bubble might pop. Um, I, I already said this before. It's a pos- uh, 
the setup is really kind of a bubble. Kasi sobrang daming SLPs na ja generate every day. And that's the problem right there. It's not healthy. And yun. Biggest question before when we started about NFTs is saan nanggagaling ang pera? Diba? Saan nanggagaling ang pera for the SLP? And SLP demand in the market. But if there is too much SLP, the demand is not, can, uh, cannot hold the prices up. Supply is so high. SLP is dropping and it's dropping right now. Currently, SLP 399. 399. Remember, nasa 19 pesos ito noon. Kaya sobrang hype niya. Because one SLP, you get 19 pesos, 12 pesos even. Kahit 12 pesos lang, sobrang laki na noon. Ngayon, 4 na lang makukuha mo per SLP. So, and then you still have to throw out money too so that you can start your own team. So, that's something that you need to consider when you start Axie. Uh, I think it's, this is still gonna drop in the future. So that's a problem. Earl John Madrid, sir. Good evening, sir. Got my second Izanagi account up and running. Thank you, Din, sa help from Bot Trading PH. Sobrang laking tulong po. You're welcome, man. Thank you so much also sa mga admins natin, sa kay Jaya, sa kina Apple. Uh, that's helping everyone in the, ano, uh, sa, sa Izanagi. Remember, Izanagi is for free. Tapos may admins tayo dyan na tumutulong sa inyo. Diba? So don't forget to thank them. And speaking of Izanagi, Alright, so update tayo kay Izanagi. It's at 162%. Uh, medyo drawdown siya ngayon sa mga trades niya. But if the market reverses, man, that's gonna be crazy gains for you guys. You are gonna be... Nakita niyo to? Before, uh, when it dropped massively, reversal, and it sobrang akyat. Uh, sobrang laki ng akyat. Ito, another huge drop on the other positions. Pag nag-reverse ang market does, those are gonna be earning a lot. So, there might be another spike. 162% already on our Izanagi account. This started at January 18. Right? Um, fast forward nine, mo uh, 9 months, 162%. That's crazy gains right there. But, this is in Forex. So, remember, uh, there's risk involved. Right? But, 162% is so, so good. Right? Um, what is Izanagi? It's a bot. Right? Program that will trade for you. Right? Sinat up namin ito. I've been running it for quite a while. Meron din itong back testing, so you know how this good this is. If you haven't seen the back testing just yet, and po sa video description more about Izanagi and even Valkyrie para makita niyo. And if you wanna earn this, join Izanagi. This one is for free, right? Ang hindi free is this one right here. Um, my FX book. Uh, my account. Um, uh, let me sign in. Alright, so portfolio. This is my Izanagi account na linigay natin sa public. Uh, right now it's at 3% and the possessions are still open. Um, Valkyrie naman, ito, the other bot. Uh, this one is kind of more premium, itong bot na ito. Um, it's already up 7.84% and this started July 19, July, August, September. So two months and it is already up already almost 8%. That's very good gains right there. This bot is very good. That's why uh, we tested it out for you guys. This one is even public. Makita niyo po yung amount. Don't mind this one. $500 na sinimula natin ito. Um, if you put in larger amounts, then your earnings should be bigger. It will be about the percentage really. So this one is also very good. Check it out. Anjan po sa video description si Valkyrie. And registration is also there. Um, also for Izanagi. Right? Um... Lawrence Alfante, Sir Lloyd, ano pong indicator you usually use in your trades? I'm a position trader, so I use uh, support and resistance a lot, RSI, Bollinger Bands. And sometimes, if ever maghahabol ako, I use, um, I use uh, Fibonacci retracements, MA20s, right? So those are the, ano, uh, those are the uh, technical analysis tools that I use. Especially for position trading, support and resistance is very useful together with... Um, Bollinger Bands and RSIs, right? Alright, so let me know if you have anything you want to chart. Uh, tignan natin. Lord, your insights on Alibaba. Thank you. Let's check out Alibaba. Baba. Alright, here we go. So Alibaba going sideways right now. If ever hindi pa kayo nakapasok kay Alibaba, there is a strong resistance at this area. Let it break out na lang muna from that area before you want to get in. Because that will confirm the reversal of Alibaba. But this is good. Abangan nyo na to. Ian Cesar Villarreal, thank you Sir Lord. God bless you. Welcome ma'am. Nay, nay. Sir Lord, good evening. Magkaroon ba ng ulit ng fundamental analysis with uh, with Sir Arnold? Um, 
Arnold Arnel, that's Sir Arnel. Regarding Mega World Reit, actually we already had, you know, we already had the fundamentals na uh, about um, Mega World Reit, right? Uh, let me get it. Let me get the. Uh, let me get the link for you. Stock said. Let me search. Fundamentals. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Nope. How can I? Why did I not get it? Um, please go to my videos, right? Um, meron po yan. We talked about uh, Mreit already. It is very good, right? Napakaganda na Mreit for you to buy. Just watch that video. Please search for it. Na sa previous lives natin last week, we talked about Mreit. No, I think the the week before pa nga, right? So check it out lang muna. Um, sayo kasi yung oras ko hanapin ko pa. Alright, so Lloyd, uh, Lloyd question. This is from Daisy. Lloyd question. Ask lang about is it or Valkyrie? Is there any particular months that must okay for masok? Wala naman. Just, just actually, ngayon ang magandang month na pumasok kay Izanagi. Bakit? Uh, may promo sa XM na double year investment. Meaning, kung magkano ilalagay yun na pera, dodoblehin ni, uh, ni, what do you call this? Ni XM. Up to $500. That's, that's 25,000 pesos, right? So, if you put in $100, dadagdagan niya ng $100. If you put in $500, uh, XM is gonna add $500 to you guys. So, that will make your buying power up $1,000. So, that is a very good deal deal for you guys. That's the best time to enter. Ngayon, um, if you notice, hindi ga, um, if you noticed, Izanagi uh, nagsistalemate for how many days and weeks even. Even Valkyrie, that is because Ghost Month, the the money markets are, it's not really moving in a certain direction. It's sideways na siya. We don't really know for sure where it is going. That's why uh, Valkyrie and Izanagi is kind of slow, right? Uh, EA naman yung EA bot natin is also for free. Uh, trend follower bot, that's what we call it. Maganda yon kasi may trade cost. Sobrang ganda ng trade cost don, but you just have to manual the trade. Ninety eight percent yung win rate ng trade calls natin. Um. I'm gonna be, I know, I'm gonna be applying for uh, my FX book for for uh, yung ano, yung what do you call this? Uh, trend follower. Makita nyo doon ang lakas ng win rate doon because of the trade calls. Sobrang ganda ng technical analysis doon. Uh, that's for uh, yeah. Uh, buka, baka bukas. Regarding sa level naman, ano yung recommended na pwede ilagay sa drawdown? Depends on you, man. Um, Depende talaga sa risk rate niyo. Um, the drawdown, the higher your drawdown is, the bigger your potential income is. Pero mas mas malalim yung negatives niyo. This this one right here nakita niyo yung account. Um, atong account nito, the drawdown reached 42 percent. Meaning at a certain point, the port lost 42 percent of its funds. Let's say for example, may isang million itong port nito. It lost 500,000 at a certain point, right? Before recovering, nakita nyo dito from uh, from 109 percent nag drop yung portfolio to 27 percent. That's a lot of drop in it uh, right there. So that's the that's the drawdown. So the higher the risk, the drawdown, the higher the naman yung potential. Cause pag nag drawdown kasi hindi pa niyan it is a stop loss, right? Um, it will keep the position as long as it thinks that it will still recover and pag nag-recover yan magba, mag, mag, magbabay yan tapos magbabalik pagbalik tayo yan laki ng earnings yan right so yeah um, it really depends up to you right if you can carry 50% drawdown then it's up to you I recommend you start with around 30% drawdown 25 to 30% pang starters lang and then once you have the emotion to tolerate that kind of drawdown then slowly increase it. That's what I can recommend. Yes, sir. Uh, BHI and Meg Sir Lloyd. Thanks. Let's check out BHI and BHI and Meg. Right, BHI. Mukhang magda-downtrend, mga pre. So, hindi talaga siya nag-bounce. Alright, ang call natin dito is if it bounces, then that will be your support. That will be your entry point. Aso nga lang, wala pa tayong green talaga to confirm that bounce right there. Um, nag-attempt kanina ng sell-off si BHI so medyo delikado right? I don't wanna uh, trade that just now since wala pa naman tayong buy signals Meg bangan nyo sa MA20 or the next bounce will be your entry point for Meg recommended Meg right here we're already earning from it 
um, medyo nag sideways dito tapos nagre-recover na naman yung rally niya. Pag nag-bounce si Meg, that's gonna be your entry point. Right? That's for Ian Cesar Villaruel. Um, let's go back to Facebook. Lawrence Alfante, Sir Lloyd, ano po indicator usually you answer this? Alvin Castillo, CHP, IMI, and Double Dragon. CHP, let's check out CHP, CHP. Alright. Nag-attempt mag-breakout sa CHP eh. Tapos nag-fail, tapos hindi na siya nakapag-tuloy-tuloy talaga. Maybe it will reach the support. Tingnan lang muna natin sa natin pupulutin sa CHP. Kasi lakas na solid bar, solid sell-off siya kanina. So most probably it will go back down to support. So abangan lang muna natin sa CHP. IMI. Uh, IMI, let it break out before you wanna get in. Or if you can get in this support right here. Those are your entry points. Nasa kitna po tayo, so it's not gonna be worth your risk to reward. So let it break out or add the support if it bounces. Marilu Rubio, any insights? Uh, any insights sa Axie Games, sir? Makatulong po ba talaga yung pag-drop ng SLP for long term ng game? Thanks in advance. Uh, makatulong ba? Let's talk about that. Makatulong ba yung pag-drop ng... Um, Marilu, sino nagsabi sa'yo na makakatulong yung pag-drop ng presyo ng SLP? Maybe because mura na ang SLP, right? Ang problema kasi is okay sana umura si SLP kung wala ng additional na mga uh, supply, right? The problem really with SLP is not about technical analysis. It doesn't go with normal uh, supply and demand uh, talaga na trading, right? Problema sa kanya is it generates so many SLP a day. So kahit mura pa yan ng SLP na yan, since there is so much coming out every day and daming nagbebenta because yun na, the reality is ito na yung pinagkakita ng mga tao so they will have to sell their SLP. As long as these people are selling, and it's still gonna drop. So I can't say for sure if it will, it is it's gonna help SLP na sobrang mura unless may magbabay ng Sobrang mura SLP. But then again, kung may bibili man ngayon kasi mura, ba't pa ako bibili ng SLP? Eh, well, if I can earn it myself, I'll just earn it, di ba? Di ba? So, ah, uh, in a sense, yes, mura siya, mas, mar- mas marami kang mabibili. The problem is, there's still so many being generated every day. That's why I think that's gonna be the problem right there. Oh. Sad to say, uh, SL, uh, Axie has to change its uh, its system. But the current system is the, really the reason why people are playing it. So if you ever change it, so let's say bawasan mo yung SLP a day, the uh, the price, nah, the number of SLP you get per day is gonna be lesser. That means lesser ang income sa inyo and it will come a point na sobrang liit na ng income people are not gonna be playing it or if may lalabas na mas maganda people are gonna be transferring it's gonna kill the game so it's this is the problem I talked about Axie so not a fan of the situation right now SLP is dropping but still so many SLP being created every day. hello sir uh, yeah. tech sir uh, is it time to accumulate na po ba let's check out ano eh meron pa pala si Rosario Rosario Sal is asking about C- CEB and FES. CEB. Let's check out Cebu Pacific. Support for Cebu Pacific is right here. So, if ever you can enter the support, uh, your RSI naman mukhang okay na. So, yeah, bodega mode for Seb Pacific. Hopefully, ma okay na yung COVID situation natin. Seb is going to be one of the uh, stocks that are that is going to be, be flying if ever. Um, if ever maayos na yung situation natin with the pandemic. FES. PHES. At PHES. Support or breakout. Those are our entries right now since it's still going sideways. Uh, tech, sir, is it time to accumulate na po ba? Si Tech, yes, looking good naman yung RSI niya. I would say yes, it's accumulation period. Actually, sinabi na natin to noon, Tech, uh, buy on the green it is already on the green a pull back and it's starting to go green again I would say yes right um, according to technical analysis kagandaan nito is if you need to stop your lo- cut your losses malapit lang naman cut loss natin so hindi gaano kalakihan ang pwede nyo ikalugit so yeah tech is looking good chart Fernandez 
Those are Lord MPI at si AGI po. MPI, let it break out. AGI naman. Alright. Si AGI, nag-attempt na tong umakit before but strong new resistance. Uh, I would say, let it break out once again. Alright. Let it break out before you wanna get in AGI. Benji, no, hindi. Si Benji. Um, Earl Ginto. Sir, so, anong magandang price to test by BTC? Let's check out Bitcoin. Um, wala pa pre. Uh, I don't know for sure where, where this is gonna be dropping. What I know for sure is maganda kasi sa mga Bitcoin and the uh, big uh, coins is you accumulate. This is a major pullback for the price right now so you buy some here. And if it goes further down so uh, previous supports you buy some more and buy some more. That's the best strategy for Bitcoin. Right? We don't really for sure where this is going. Can't say if it's gonna be bullish or not because of current situation. No, because of. Asan yun? Pat na wala. What? Okay. So gano lang gawin niyo, right? Let me load my chart later once again. And I'm gonna lose my drawings. Sayang BTC, USD. And so, gano lang gawin yung Bitcoin actually, right? You don't have to really cerebralize Bitcoin's position. Right? You buy some as it's stabilizing right now. This is its major support. Another major support and third major support. You buy some here, or you buy some here, and you buy some here. That's gonna be your best strategy for BTC. Right. Irene Suzuki, good evening, Sir Lloyd. Pa check po si AC. Thanks. Let's check out Ayala Corporation. Um, resistance. Let it break out before you wanna get in. Sobrang lakas na kasi ng akit ni AC. Right. So, let it break out lang muna. Benjamin Navia, good evening, Sir Lloyd. Parikas pa. Explain po paano naging napakataas ng risk sa mataas na leverage, Sir. Right. Ganito kasi, pag mataas ang leverage kasi, it will not cut loss. <laughs> Alright, uh, if ever your leverage, I mean, you, I mean, request po, explain. Paano naging napakataas ng risk ng mataas na leverage? Ay, right, ganito. Alright, uh, when, whenever your leverage kasi, there is a chance na maubos ang pera mo pag naka-leverage ka. Let's say, for example, on a norm, normal trade, um, you buy the stock at around 1,000 pesos per stock, right? Gawin lang natin 1,000 para madali, madali mag-math. Right, if the price drops at 50%, you will still have 500 pesos. Diba? So, 500 pesos is still okay. It's gonna be very hard for the stock to, to go below 50%. Maybe, uh, let's say for example, 80%. Andun pa rin yung, andun pa rin yung trade mo. Hindi pa si close kasi may pera pa. Diba? You still have, kung mag negative 80% man na isang stock, that means you still have um, 20% left, diba? That's 200 pesos still left. Pero pag nag-leverage kasi kayo, pag nag-negative 50, ta- kung times 2 lang ha, kung times 2 lang ang leverage nyo, kung mag-negative 50% ang stock, that means yung buong 1,000 pesos mo mauubos and it's gonna close the trade. That's 1,000 per- one, That's 1,000 pesos loss. That's 100% loss. That's why the risks are higher if you leverage because you double your losses, right? Um, mas malaki pa siya mag mas mad- malaki pa rin ang risk niya because it, uh, pag nagle-leverage ka, nako-close yung account if ever naubos yung pera mo, right? If you lose the entire 1,000 pesos, the the position is closed. So, ibebenta na yon. Pag nag-recover, wala ka na. ba? Unlike sa hindi ka nag-leverage, pag nag-lose ng 50%, Andun pa rin yung pera pag nag-recover yung stock, then you still have the trade and you have st- the chance to recover still. Right? That's the reason why you, when you leverage, the risks tend to become higher. Plus pa, hindi lang yon nagbabayad pa kayo ng month, uh, overnight fees for leveraging and even weekend fees kasi umuutang kayo ng pera sa broker. Right? That's the reason why sobrang laki ng risk pag nagle-leverage. And I hope I was able to answer uh, that clearly, Benji Unabia. Nancy Katilo, good evening, sir. To check po ng Meg ICT. Right, we covered Meg already. Right, pullback, MA20, possible bounce. That's MA20 point. 
ICT. Ito si ICT ng breakout pero bearish na signals natin. I will not trade that anymore. Ang daming stocks na nasa baba doon tayo. Alright. Nancy, that's for you. Good evening, sir. Alright. Ping Waping, Hello, Sir Lloyd. Maganda po ba ang body guide si Meg, Mega World? Yeah, I would say yes. Mega World is a very good company. Right? Uh, nakita nyo naman yung buildings nila na list na sa REIT 98% um, yung uh, yung yung rentals occupancy and yeah it's very good uh, it's a it's a good company right Marilu thank you so much sir you're welcome po let's go back to YouTube I guess we were able to answer so many questions right now medyo pagod ako I don't know why anyways Ian says our video well BHI and Meg we covered that already follow up question on Sir Lloyd once ba na hit yung cut loss niya titigil na yung bot trading then kay kailan i-manual pag nag-resume or diretso di automatic yung mga stop loss niya if ever sa bot trading and then it's gonna be continuing to trade the remaining funds right well, well, no need to manual it right then diretso lang siya Jill Marie Pani pa, Pani alright uh, pacheck po ng gold USD let's check out gold USD let's use etoro.com and let's use I say itoro, laki na negative ko. Just that's because um, we already sell, sold our position. Kaya anong stock nga ba yun? Pinenta natin. Uh, let's go to let's go to history. We sold our position. Kaya ship, right? Uh, we sold it at si Jisat na benta natin at 93%. Si ship at 28%. Yeah, I sold my winning position, so that's all good. Um, performance natin negative tayo for September. That's okay. 0.64 lang naman. At least we we ended up August at 2.83 percent. I'm gonna be opening a few positions later on. Let's go to pro charts. Gold. And so gold naman. Actually, overall, kahit na may short-term technical analysis na yun dito ngayon, it's going sideways yung current na trend niya. But overall, it is expensive. And overall, it's still holding that downtrend on the longer term. Medyo kami kamahalan si gold ngayon. And if ever kasi mag-recover yung world sa COVID, this should drop. Right? Umakyat ito during the COVID, during the pandemic kasi safe haven nga si gold. I even told you guys, bili na kayo ng gold kasi nagka-pandemic. It should go up and there it is. It went up right there. So, ngayon, medyo expensive na si gold. Uh, if the pandemic kasi, marika, ma, ano, babagsak to. So, it's gonna be very risky. So, the best trade for you is go, go for short term. Sideways trend tayo. We're in between. So, it might still go back down to support. You can't really say at this point. Right? Medyo mahirap yung position na to really call it. Right? Alright. Yan. So, again, um, Izanagi, nakita nyo po, uh, it is up 162% already for 9 months. If you wanna check out Izanagi, automated trading po ito. Hindi nyo na kailangan mag-trade manually. So at least diversified kayo into Forex na hindi nyo kailangan bantayan. Check out Izanagi and dyan po sa video description yung video about Izanagi so that you'll understand more about it. And if ever you're ready to register, and dyan din po yung registration link sa uh, Izanagi. Um, I strongly recommend you create an Izanagi account right now kasi maganda yung promotion XM double year prom, uh, double year investment meaning if you put in $500 the double nila lalagyan nila additional $500 that's 25k more buying power so you for you guys hindi nyo pwedeng withdrawin pero whatever you earn from that $500 you can keep diba so that's very good that's a very good um, promotion I hope you take advantage of it I was able to answer all questions right now alright uh, meron pa pala may pahabol uh, Michael S. J. Good evening, Sir Lloyd. May pag-asa ba umakyat, pa bang umakyat si dito? Yeah, that's the reason why naglo-long term ako kay dito. <laughs> right, so yeah. Um, it's it's hard to say right now. I don't want... Yung pag-asa kasi na yan, it's, it's gonna mess up your trading. Right? Huwag kayong umasa. Right? Um, manage your, ano, manage your trading. Right? Ngayon, medyo may kamahalan na actually, dapat nagbebenta na kayo ngayon. ba? Um... So, 
if ever hindi pumanta yung bentahan sa I mean bilian sa mag- mga nagbebenta it should drop right looking at the facts about dito for the fu- for its future growth factor wise yung performance is very good napakaganda ng performance ng dito uh, it, it la- it's giving us very good uh, what do you call this impression it left a very good impression sa simula and I think it is gonna be doing well Right. Hindi pa nagre-reflect yan sa earnings ngayon kasi sobrang laki pa ng mga ginagastos na yan. At ngayon, gumagawa pa nga, nag-ano pa nga sila, nag-under, uh, nag-underwater cable pa nga sila. Eh. Sobrang laki ng pera ilalabas niyan. But looking at the future of it because of the technology that it's putting in, I would say it's it's gonna go even higher if ever, right? If ever, everything goes well. We can't really say in between, baka magkaroon ng problema dito. But for now, with its current performance, its current track, it's, uh, I would I'd say yes, right? Pero yun lang problema. Hindi natin alam ano magiyare in between. Baka may manalo ang opposition next year at pahirapan si dito. That's gonna be a problem, right? So we don't really know for sure, right? It's just that I'm banking on the growth. Sobrang ganda ng performance ng dito. So I'm going long term for dito. I've been I've been telling about that, you guys about that ever since no nag dos. Long piso pa si dito, nag nagpiso pa nga yan noon, 'di ba? Sobrang taas nila ngayon. But it's never too late, right? Uh, the best thing you can do is wait for it to drop and then um pag bumaba and then you buy some. That's what I've been doing right now and then pag nagre-resistance, you can sell some, take advantage of your gains. And then pag bumaba ulit, then buy some more, right? Right? So Yeah, that's it for me this evening. Thank you so much, Marilu Rubio. I guess we were able to answer all the questions. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I'll see you again tomorrow. Um, Minintay ko lang yung um, sagot ni Kapayamang Arnel so that we can talk about the other uh, IPOs if you want to enter it or not. So, uh, definitely i-announce ko yan pag I, uh, once I get the response from Ar- Kapayamang Arnel already. That's it for me. I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, let's get rich together. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Stay safe.